Hi Leo, thanks again for joining me, liking, sharing, subscribing. Okay, the lover's card. Five of swords. Four of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Seven of swords. And the four of cups. Okay, first from the top left, we have the lover's card. This is all about a beautiful destined union. If this is regarding love, then I feel as though some of you are meeting someone new. Could be a Gemini. There is a lot of swords here. Or in, most prominently, I'm probably seeing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus from all the pentacles. But the lover's card can be most prominently a Gemini here. Now, this is something that's orchestrated by the divine, by the universe, by the gods, whichever label you'd like to give to it. This is someone that's coming in here that you're fated to meet. You're fated to bump into. This is a person that's going to teach you things. This is even a person that could be a soulmate or a twin flame, perhaps. This is a really beautiful union here with the lover's card. If you're already in an existing relationship, I feel like the um, relationship or the emotions towards each other is going to intensify and a new dynamic will be added to the relationship. This could mean that some of you might get engaged, some of you might sleep together for the first time, some of you might move in together, just completing some of these milestones um, you do when you're in a relationship. A lot of passion, a lot of lust, a lot of union. It's almost like a meant to be faded feeling with the six um, or this shift in the relationship takes place. this growth and, and or exploration within the relationship. So that's wonderful to see. If this is regarding work, then I feel as though that you're partnering up with someone, collaborating with someone or meeting with someone, whether this is for a job interview, um, a review, a meeting, um, a conference. I see you sitting um, opposite someone here, whether male or female, and discussing your role, discussing the job, discussing... Um, other employees that report to you perhaps. This is definitely meeting with people one-on-one. -on -one. This could also be wholesalers, contractors, subcontractors, um, you know, poachers, sales, um, you know, sales-based roles, etc. Whichever role you're in, you're definitely meeting with a lot of people or a lot of meetings are going to be held around this time. This could be a very, very busy month for you, meeting with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people. There could be a review coming up um, and it's interesting that you have the five of swords this is about walking away from something so some of you may even I hate to say it but some of you may even get um, let off a job you may be made redundant so just you know hopefully not for your sake but this is a possibility um, what I'm seeing here with the lovers card and the five of um, five of swords is either a breakup happening or you leaving someone behind some of you um, it's not going to blossom. This relationship isn't going to blossom. You're actually leaving behind a relationship and then later will find or meet someone. So some of you are leaving behind, um, walking away from someone or finding out that someone is taken. Someone is not available for you to date or pursue. The Five of Swords is about walking away, defeat, um, removing yourself, leaving a relationship, leaving a workplace, it's something that no longer serves you. You're finally seeing someone or something for what it's worth, uh, what it's not worth. And with the seven as well, the seven of swords, this is about <clears throat> someone might have deceived you or there could be obstacles in gaining someone. So you might have even had your eye on someone that you thought you were meant to be with perhaps. Now this will apply for some of you, not all, and perhaps there's just too many obstacles or there's deceit surrounding this person. This person belongs to someone else, um, you know, you can't get to them, they're not accessible right now, but that doesn't mean they won't be in the future. Or they could have, you know, um, partaken in some sort of deceit. But with the Five of Swords, for some it's about walking away. There could have been lies hidden, like things hidden, secrecy with the Seven of Swords. Um, you know, someone not being completely genuine with you. And for some, it's getting to that point where, you know, you have to stop clinging. The Four of Pentacles is about clinging to a situation, clinging to the idea of a relationship or a love union. To others, I feel like you're letting go of a past love, someone that hurt you. You're recovering, you're healing, 
So that's really, really positive. And you're opening yourself up to receiving someone new. And there is a possibility you might meet someone, whether this person is just on the rebound and, you know, it's a, um, a spring fling even, you know, it just happens really quickly and it's just someone to help you heal or someone to help you move on. Um, other people might be meeting their true soulmate and or lover or long-term partner after this breakup or walking away or after this healing takes place. So it's a bit of a contrast. There's a different, you know, there's different scenarios playing out here, but I feel some of you will be walking away from a loved one. You'll be ending the relationship due to some sort of deceit or obstacles or drama or just um, lack of compatibility. For others, Leo, um, you'll still be clinging um, or your partner will be clinging to you, depending if they're an earth or a, a ward, um, air sign, sorry. They will be very clinging to you or you'll be very clinging to them. And they just want you. They want to hold you. They want to be around you. They want to, you know, experience your touch, your love, your devotion, your affection. I mean, can you blame them, Leo? Really? Come on now. And it could even be you. I mean, you could have that possessive streak within you and you like to take people under your wing. And maybe this is you that's clinging to this um, earth sign or um, air sign. Regardless of the sign that this person is, they could have different elements in their chart, but some of you will definitely be clinging. But um, there is an opportunity for you to collaborate. If this is in a work situation, you might be working away from a job and meet someone that's going to help you. This could be a recruiter. This could be someone that opens up a new opportunity here for you or a new option that you hadn't even considered before. Um, it could be something in finance, depending, you know, charity, finance, assisting people, um, meeting with people, something customer service based maybe. But with the Four of Pentacles, I really feel like um, a lot of you will be de very devoted to your work. Um, very, de you know, devoted to saving your money, watching your accounts grow, watching your funds grow. Um, re if you're in a commission-based role, I feel like you will be collecting funds, earning funds, earning incentives. There might be a lot of incentive for you to work that, you know, extra bit harder this month. This is also a possibility for you. So for some, it's a breakup. It's, a, you know, a big exodus, it's leaving a job, leaving a relationship behind. Some of you have been single or have been left behind and will receive love this month. So that's always a possibility. For some, I feel like geographical distance is going to separate you because of work. So whether this is one of you have to travel for work, um, one of you have to go back to their country if they're traveling. Um, this could also be, there could be a minor um, a separation for a period for a short time. It doesn't have to necessarily be long term, but for some of you it will be. That's it. You're breaking up. You're walking away. Um, for others, it will be that you're, you've walked away, you're still clinging, and then you end up coming back together and reuniting as well. So that's also possible. Um, this could even be a major client or a sponsor or a sister company that um, separates from the company or the corporation you work for if this is in a professional sense as well. Um, and I, again, I'm seeing some of you might be made redundant because you're clinging to money and you're clinging to the last bit of funds you have left. You're clinging to whatever you can. It's sort of like desperation here with the four of um, pentacles. So this is possible. I'm not saying everyone's going to get fired and everyone's going to get laid off and you're going to be unemployed. I'm just saying it's a possibility for some of you that this might happen. Hopefully not, though. Or you might come across a golden opportunity here with the lover's card. Anyway, here we have the Six of Pentacles. This is asking for help. This is finance. This is the legal system. You've got things hanging in the balance here. This is, <clears throat> you know, what just came to me here with the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is someone is being unjust. I feel like you're maybe being really fair, but someone else isn't. Someone else is being unfair. Someone else might be taking you for granted. Now, this could be in a love and or a work situation, but I feel karma is around and this will they will get this person or this company or whatever's going on here. But I feel like there's a bit of an imbalance in terms of fairness because here you have, you know, those that are poor and destitute and someone that's in a great position to help you. So you could be asking for financial help. Just be careful with who you're asking, which institution. Make sure you read the contracts. They could be trying to pull the wool over your eyes a little bit here with the Seven of Swords. This is deceit. They might be tricking you with some of the interest rates. 
um, completely, you know, not being honest, or maybe if this is someone that's lending you a helping hand, lending you finances, make sure, you know, you draw up a contract, or if it's a leasing agreement or a contract of some kind, you know, you sort of, you document everything and you just protect yourself because you never know in the future. But the Six of Pentacles could be charity work, could be asking for finances, asking for help, working with a financial institution, collaborating with a financial institution. Um, I really feel like finances, um, like in a general sense, I feel like your finances, you're really concentrating on that. Um, and keeping a close watch on them and maybe this is important for you to do I don't know if you're saving for something or you want to surprise a loved one with a home or you know you could be clinging to an asset this could be nostalgia as well with the four of pentacles but especially with the six and the set the six of pentacles and the seven of swords I really feel like there could be some sort of dishonesty that's happening around you especially with the five of swords someone that's trying to defeat you take advantage pull the wool over your eyes um so just be mindful if this person is around you, you know, just not to be suspicious of everyone, but, you know, just have your wits about you this month is all. The Seven of Swords is obstacles. It could be obstacles with finances. There could be a tough time or a separation in a relationship. It's, um, it, you know, it's not going to be easy. Um, for some of you, you're coming from a relationship where you were deceived and you're finally letting love in and there's fairness with this person. They're generous. Maybe they've been left behind. They've been deceived. Maybe they're still clinging to an ex or a partner. You may notice the way they talk or they may have pictures of this person up in their apartment or something and you may feel a, bit, a little bit thrown off with that. But I feel um, there could be tough times up ahead for some, for some of you that are in relationships or for some of you that are looking for love. So just... Um, you know, you need to have strength around you because the universe is sending you people that will be benevolent for you, whether this is friends, colleagues, siblings, etc. So, um, you know, there could be a bit of dishonesty, but I feel there will be someone around you that's going to support you and help you. And even with finances or just, you know, if you have been a bit ill or crook, someone that's offering you um, a helping hand here. So that's wonderful to see. You also have the Four of Cups, Four of Cups is about assessing your options and something coming into play here, something that you haven't considered before. And it's interesting that you have two fours here. So four could be significant. The number four could be significant for you. The fourth day of the month, maybe, or a day that has number four in it. Um, <clears throat> or a contract, you know, page four of a contract, something like this. But um, this is about something surprising, something coming to illumination. And this is the hand of God offering you an opportunity. It's either offering you to see someone, to see something about someone, to see an opportunity that you might not have considered before. Um, so especially with the Four of Cups here, I feel like it's either someone brand new that's coming into your life, if this, if romance is what you're after, and this is someone you don't know, or someone you've never even considered in this way might open up. Um, romantically to you or if it's not if it's in a professional creative sense there's going to be some sort of idea um, for you to generate more money you know move up in the company or you might get some inspired thought or it's sort of like an aha moment it could be something to do with this deceit or this obstacles because see how he's looking back here um, it's almost like someone is doing something around you they know they're doing it and they, they know you're not aware of it because you're too busy looking at the three of cups. You're not seeing the fourth one. You're too busy looking at the others. So I feel like sooner or later it's going to catch up with this person. This could result in a splitting, a walking away, a departing. So <clears throat> I feel like <clears throat> you're going to have an epiphany or you're going to, this is going to come to illumination <clears throat> about what something is doing at a workplace or in the work or in a romantic sense. And then you, you know, you you either finally see someone in a new light and you discover, wow, okay, this, we could potentially be a really, really great couple. Or this is someone's deceit, some sort of realization about walking away. You're going to hear news about someone walking away. If it's not you splitting as a couple, if you are coupled up, it's someone very close around you that's splitting up that's either deceived someone. So, um, 
you know, a bit of obstacles for you this month, Leo. I really hope, well, I know you've got the strength to pull through them. Um, I really hope you just have your wits about you. There could be obstacles with finances. It doesn't necessarily have to be in relationships. There could be setbacks, delays, you know, in waiting for finances and waiting for court cases. You know, if you're waiting for something from the judicial system, from the government, from the legal system as well. But there's definitely a departure an exit, a breakup, a split, something that's going to spark this, this change, this exodus, if you will. But there is a new opportunity here. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is the hand of God, and it could come in the form of a person. This person could be extremely benevolent for you. So keep an eye out for them, Leo.